Hi everyone. If you're new here, my name is Sophie and I'm a maths teacher. And today I'm going to be answering questions about the IB higher level. This question is from my student Sevi. Big shout out to Sevi. And he found it in the HEAS revision book, which I absolutely love. Let's have a look. So the question says consider quadrilateral A, B, C, D, where the midpoints are M, N, Q, P and Q. We have to prove that it's a parallelogram. So what does it mean to prove that something's a parallelogram? Well, to prove that shape is a parallelogram, you need to prove that the opposite sides are both equal in length and parallel. So if we were to join them up like this, we would need to prove that that is parallel and equal in length to that and vice versa here. So I like to set out my proof questions starting with an RTP. So my RTP is to prove that the vector QM is equal to the vector PN. Okay, so let's start by finding Q to M. So we would agree that QM is equal to Q to A plus A to M. But we also know because this is the midpoint, this is half of the vector D to A. So this one here is half of the vector D to A. And this one here is half of the vector A to B. We can factor out the half, and then we have D to A plus A to B inside the brackets. I can add these two together and say this is half of the vector D to B, okay? Now I'm gonna repeat that process, but for P to N. And then I'm gonna prove that the two vectors are equal and therefore this side here is equal in length and parallel to this side. You can kind of see it already, like for example, if this to this would be D to B, I mean, this way around we've gone this way, right? But obviously we know that this is the midpoint, but that's, let's lay it out all nice and neatly. So P to N, is equal to P to C plus C to N. And again, using the fact that midpoints, half of P to C is half of D to P, plus C to N is half of C to B. Okay. I've written that wrong. So this is half of D to C, plus half of C to B. I'm going to factor out the half again. And here we're going to have D to C plus C to B. And again, we can simplify that. Whenever the vectors are the same, like whenever the letters are the same in the middle, you can simplify your vectors by saying that's half D to B. So therefore, we can say that Q to M, this vector, is equal to this vector here. And you can repeat the process for the other side in a similar way by going from M to N, you can go from M to B, B to N, and likewise going the other way around. I would actually prove that for both sides. So let's get started. So we've got M to N is equal to M to B plus B to N. Okay, which is half of A to B. So this vector here is half of this vector here. Okay, plus half of B to C. Similarly, that, that's B to C and that's the midpoint. Take out the half. And 
and tidy up. And we're going to repeat that for the opposite side, which is Q to P, which is Q to D plus D to P, which is a half A to D plus a half D to C. Factoring out the half, we've got A D plus DC, which is a half A to C. So we can see that this factor is equal to this factor and this factor is equal to that vector, meaning that the sides must be parallel for their vectors to be the same and equal in length. So that question is done. The second part of the question revolves around how we can utilize our calculator in the paper two to become more efficient. So these are two vectors that I'm going to input into my calculator, and I'm going to use my calculator to find both the cross product, the dot product, and then finally for one vector, we could find the unit vector. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your calculator on, and you're going to go into option one, run matrix. In order to enter these, you're going to use the shortcut F3 here. Okay, I'm going to tap that, and I'm going to use here the M to V, which means matrix to vector. Okay, I'm going to delete them all so we can put them in again. Okay, so I'm going to enter this as vector A. Okay. Now, first thing it's going to ask me the dimensions. Now, you want to think it's going to be row by column. Column is how tall it is, and row is how many across. So you think you row across the C, and like a column, like a column in a building. So I need three rows across and one column. Okay. Now I can enter in one, two, and remember, you can use this little minus here, minus one. Okay, now I'm going to repeat that here for my second vector. And I'm going to put in five, one, minus two. Okay, so now my two vectors are here. I can check they're okay. One, two, minus one. You can edit them in there if you want. Five, one, minus two. If you want to delete them, you've got this option. If you're inside, you can edit them. Now, when I'm in here, I'm not gonna go back into matrix. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this option button here. You see that, guys, next to shift. So I'm gonna click on option, okay? And I'm gonna click in matrix. I'm gonna go all the way to the end, okay? And I've got these options. Dot product, cross product, this is going to be the angle between the vectors and the unit vector. So if we enter, for example, the cross product, I need to press cross product. I need to have vector A. Then I'm going to have comma vector B. Okay. And that's my cross product there. Similarly, if I want to do the dot product, I'm going to have press dot product. I'm going to press vector alpha A. Press my comma here, vector B. Now you need to remember what you stored them as. Now remember the, the cross product is going to return the output of the cross product is a vector, whereas the out product, whereas the output of the dot product is a scalar. Similarly, if you wanted the unit vector which is going to be the vector in the same direction, but of length one, I can have unit vector, vector alpha A. Okay, it's going to scale my vector. And the last thing you can do is here have the angle between the vectors, angle between vector A and vector B. My calculator is in radians, but you could also put it into degrees here and recalculate that. And there you go. So that's the acute angle between them. I hope you guys found that interesting. I would really like to do this again. I found this super fun. So send me all your questions. Have a great evening, everyone.